Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I am bringing you top 30 plus interview question and answer series on NoSQL. NoSQL fundamentals and basics are important, especially if you are working in Mean Stack or Mern Stack or even with say Redis or Cassandra or Couchbase. So these are all based on NoSQL uh, concepts and fundamentals. And hence, it's important to know some of these basic interview question and answer series, especially if you are planning for an interview. That being said, let's get started with our list. The first and the foremost question that is asked is what is NoSQL and how is it different from traditional SQL databases? NoSQL is a non-relational database management system that allows for the storage and retrieval of unstructured data. Unlike traditional SQL databases, NoSQL database does not use any rigid schema and are highly scalable, flexible and provide high performance. You can also add it to with an example saying that uh, in SQL you have a regular table which has a fixed schema which has fixed columns. Whereas in NoSQL uh, database systems you don't have any schema you can insert any uh, column with any document or any uh, format. So you can probably give an example of it. <coughs> the next is what are the main advantages of using NoSQL databases? The main advantages of using NoSQL databases are it's highly scalable, highly available, flexibility, ability to store and process large amounts of data which are sp specially unstructured. These are the, some of the main advantages that you should talk about. Talk about scalability, flexibility, ability to store unstructured data and efficiency. What are the main types of NoSQL databases and how do they differ from each other? So here uh, there are different types that you can explain with examples. So I'm going to start with some of the main types first. The main types of NoSQL databases are document oriented, key value pair, column family and graph based. These are the four types of NoSQL databases that are available. They differ from each other in a way they store and retrieve data. Okay. They differ in their data models and their query language. <coughs> now each of this um, type of NoSQL, I'm going to explain it in just a bit. <coughs> what is sharding in NoSQL database? So sharding is the process of partitioning data across multiple servers to improve scalability and performance. Now this is a simple concept that you partition the data across different multiple servers so that you can serve and you can scale the data and you, your ability to serve the data will be quicker and which improves the performance. And hence sharding is common principle that is used in all NoSQL databases. How does event, eventual consistency work in NoSQL databases? Eventual consistency is a feature in NoSQL databases where updates to the databases are asynchronously propagated and may take some time to be consistent across all nodes. <coughs> now think about this way. Let's say your data is getting stored in 10 different nodes. Right, But eventual consistency will happen over a period of time. It will not be an instant update to all the nodes. Okay, uh, The reason also is because it will be much better handling in terms of any failure to update right? or something goes wrong. It can serve from other nodes. Whereas in a traditional uh, databases, what happens is when you say update, it will immediately update all the nodes. Okay, all the data across and that's the biggest difference between NoSQL and SQL in terms of eventual consistency. What is denormalization in SQL databases? Denormalization is the process of adding redundant data to a NoSQL database to improve performance by reducing the number of queries needed to access the data. Okay, so here we are duplicating data, we are making it redundant in a way that it will help us improve the performance by number of queries needed to access that particular data. Okay, so that is the process of denormalization in NoSQL databases. What is a distributed database in NoSQL? A distributed database in NoSQL is a database that is spread across different ser multiple servers or nodes. Okay, like I gave you an like earlier example. Actual data in NoSQL databases is stored multiple copies in different multiple servers. Okay, for reason being that it should be high availability and high scalability. You can serve from any node 
in terms of failure it can be served the data can be served from the other servers and hence a distributed date that's that's why it is called distributed database because it is spread across multiple servers or nodes and the data is redundant what is cap theorem in NoSQL databases cap theorem states that a distributed database system can only have two of three desirable properties consistency availability and partition tolerance okay this is in sharp contrast to what we have in uh, relational databases where we have a principle of acid right so here in NoSQL databases we call it consistency availability and partition tolerance that's the three um, states basically that out of which only two can be achieved what is the difference between a document database and a relational database a document database stores data in terms of documents okay which are usually in a JSON format Whereas in a relational database tables, the data is stored as flat um, data, right? Like the whatever column type you mentioned, that data will be stored in that particular predefined schema. <coughs> what is the difference between key value database and a document database? Very interesting and important question. A lot of times it is asked by uh, recruiters. All right, a key value database stores data as a simple key value pairs while a document database stores data in a more complex structure like a JSON structure. Okay. Now key value is nothing but you have a key, you have its value. You have a key, you have its value. Right. That's the simple understanding of key value pair. But in terms of um, complexity, if you see, you can have any different types of format or structure that you can hold in a document. Okay. And it can be more complex. And that's, that's the difference between key value and document database. There is no uh, good or bad between uh, each of them. They both have their own uh, pros and cons. What is MongoDB and what are its key features? MongoDB is a popular document oriented NoSQL database that allows for high scalability, flexible data modeling, easy integration with other tools and technologies. Now you can talk about mean stack you can talk about MERN stack that is built on top of MongoDB, right? Um, you can talk about how um, it's stored in documents and how the, the entire structure, which is in JSON structure, is stored as BSON in MongoDB, right? I have a separate playlist on that where I have covered the entire MongoDB series on my channel. So make sure you check that out if you want to learn MongoDB. What is Couchbase and how is it different from other NoSQL databases? Couchbase is a distributed NoSQL database that combines the features of both key value and document oriented database. Now, you don't have to choose between one of the option. You can choose Couchbase. It offers both the features for key value as well as document oriented database. It also provides high performance, scalability and consistency. What is Cassandra and what are its key features? Cassandra is a highly scalable column family NoSQL database that provides high availability and low latency. It is designed to handle large amounts of data across multiple data centers. Right? So you'll find yourself uh, using Cassandra if you are hosting a multiple data center. Data is huge volumes, right? Uh, very extremely large volumes of data. And those are based on the column family NoSQL database. <coughs> What is Redis and how is it different from other NoSQL databases? Redis is a high performance in memory key value NoSQL database that is often used for caching, messaging and real time data processing. OK, so it's an in, me in memory key value NoSQL database and often used for real time data processing, let's say chat, uh, etc, which are all real time. Those things uh, you would use Redis. You would also use that for high caching, like if you have a large content management system, etc. You would want to cache a lot of data there. So that's where you can prefer using Redis. What is HBase and what are its key features? HBase is a column family NoSQL database that is built on top of Hadoop and is designed to handle large amounts of unstructured, oh sorry, structured data. Now, if we know big, big data kind of a platform, which is open source Hadoop, uh, HBase is built on top of that. It's a commercial version of it. It provides high scalability and availability. 
I'm just giving and covering all the products and its key features but make sure that you go through some of its features in more detail so that you will be more confident. <coughs> what are the main challenges of using NoSQL database? The main challenges of using NoSQL databases are the lack of standardized query languages, the need for specialized skills to manage and optimize performance for each of the platform, the potential for data in inconsistency or loss in highly distributed systems. When you're trying to update 70 nodes, chances are that one or two nodes may not get updated and then you have to roll back and then do all the processing. It takes a um, toll on that. Also, each platform has its own different query language which we need to learn and that is something that becomes a challenge over a period of time for resources. How do you decide which type of NoSQL database to use for a specific project? The choice of a NoSQL depends on various factors of the project, okay, including the type of data that you're dealing with, the data model itself, uh, what's the performance, what's the scale of the data, what's the complexity of the structures of the uh, data, and the availability requirements, etc. It also depends upon the skills and experience of the development team, right? You can't bring in NoSQL database like HBase or Couchbase and your team is from traditional uh, SQL team, right? So you, there is a lot of things that depends, but these are some of the commonly uh, common factors that you need to consider. <coughs> How do you ensure data consistency in a distributed NoSQL database? To ensure data consistency in a distributed NoSQL database, we can use techniques like conflict resolution, versioning, and data replication. Those are the three main um, techniques to, to do ensure that data consistency is there between all the different nodes. How does NoSQL fit into the overall data management strategy of an organization? NoSQL databases can be used in conjunction with traditional SQL database to manage different types of data. We can integrate the NoSQL into our different tools like data warehouse, data lakes, or analytic platforms, etc. How do you ensure the security of data in a NoSQL database? Now, there are multiple ways of uh, implementing securities, which includes, you know, access control, authorization, encryption, versioning, and auditing, right? So these are some of the best practices that when applied like security patches, monitoring, auditing, logging. So these are all different things that are enabled in terms of ensuring the security of the data in a NoSQL database. That's all the top 20 uh, NoSQL interview question and answer series. These are the most frequently asked questions which I've brought you. I hope uh, you benefit from it. I hope you learn from it. Uh, if you have any more questions or if you feel I have not covered, please let me know in the comment section. We will be eager to learn from you. Thank you so much for joining again. Keep learning. Keep growing.